everyone. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, we are doing a little DIY dessert for you today. This is the Jello No Bake Classic Cheesecake. This includes a filling mix and a crust mix. It says it makes six slices. Now you have to bring your own milk, butter, and sugar. Now it includes the graham cracker crust for you. So if you wanna make this as a pie, you have to have like a pie pan, which I didn't have on hand, or you can make it as dessert bars, which is what I did. And you can just like press the graham cracker crust into an eight by eight inch like baking pan rather than the pie plate. So that's what I did. It turned out okay, it seems. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like cheesecake, you know? it does have have kind of like that that cheesecake texture look to it but basically it's no bake so you just like whisk everything together until it gets stiff and then pour it into the crust and guys if you're new to our channel basically we review everyday grocery items so before you spend your hard-earned money let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up we buy it again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a huge thumbs up. This is a great product. I'm really impressed with it. And what's fascinating is the cheesecake, you know what it reminded me of? What? Anilla wafer. The, the cheesecake part of it? Yeah, like the, the cookie. The, this part yeah. tasted like the cookie? Yeah. Reminded mm -hmm. me of that. Already. Like a vanilla-ish cheesecake. Anyway. Okay. I can, okay. So that was really good. Pleasant surprise. Hmm. Just the right amount of sweetness. And with the graham cracker crust, takes it to the next level. I love that you can just hold it and eat it if you wanted to. Thumbs up. Hmm. Oh, you threw me for a loop with that analogy, but I will agree, this is a thumbs up. And once you said that and I tasted it, it does taste kind of like vanilla wafer. Like the texture, different obviously, but right. the flavor, like the base flavor of it, it is a lot like vanilla wafer, which is great. I love vanilla wafer. Yeah, because when I was eating it, I was like, man, this reminds me of something. And I was like, at first I was like, banana pudding? But then I was like, yeah, it's like a vanilla wafer. Yeah, like the, the vanilla part of the yeah. banana pudding. And I think, wow, this would probably actually make a really nice like um, mixture for banana pudding. But regardless, anyway, this is great. Like, now here's what I'll say. I don't think that it tastes entirely like cheesecake. It tastes like something slightly cheesecake flavored, but I would say overwhelmingly it tastes like vanilla and then the graham cracker. So, Good flavor combo. The texture is not entirely like cheesecake also, but it's kind of like a mixture between a light fluffy kind of pudding and then cheesecake. It has a little bit of cheesecake texture, but more of like a puddingy texture, which to be fair, this is like basically jello. It's like cheesecake flavored jello for the most part. I was really impressed with the graham cracker crust. Like it had great flavor. This is really nice. And I actually liked the fact that we did it as the dessert bar instead yeah. of the pie piece. I think that it actually works out better this way. And what we had here was two pieces of nine total pieces. So you could get nine of these yeah. versus one sixth of a pie slice. I think it's better this way than a pie slice. Yes, I think so too. This is and actually pretty nice. The presentation of it just looks very pretty that way. Yeah, exactly. And you could always like throw on top, you know, some extra stuff or whatever to jazz it up. but. This is pretty darn good. It's not entirely cheesecake, but as a little dessert, not bad at all. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.